Hey everyone, it's Ronnie, and welcome to New Series Times, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. I'm making this video to clarify a bit more about what's going on with the new Spider-Man Miles Morales game. A lot of people were a bit confused on whether Spider-Man Miles Morales is a direct sequel to the first game, or if it's a spin-off, or even a standalone game. Twitter was just blowing up as soon as the new Spider-Man Miles Morales trailer debuted, and everyone, including myself, were wondering where in the timeline does this game take place and if it's a direct sequel or not. So before I get into the details, I want to read this article to you that pretty much clarifies all the confusion, and then we'll discuss it afterwards. So let's begin with the article from VideoGamesChronicles.com. Sony has clarified that Insomniac's PS5 Spider-Man game was announced on Thursday is an enhancement, quote-unquote, of the PS4 original with a, quote-unquote, substantial expansion. Announced during Sony's PS5 reveal event on Thursday, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales was described as a new adventure from Insomniac Games, with little further detail offered. However, in the new interview, The Telegraph describes Morales as more akin to an expansion bolted on to an upgraded version of the original title, Sony Interactive Entertainment EVP head of European business Simon Rudder told the publication that Miles Morales would include major enhancement to the 2018 PS4 game. I guess you can call it an expansion and an enhancement to the previous game, he said. There's a substantial Miles Morales component, which is the expansion element, but also within the game. As well, there's been major enhancements to the game and the game engine, obviously deploying some of the major PlayStation 5 technology and features. Asked whether such familiarity was an important part of the transition and installed user base from old machines to the new, Rudder said. I think what is very interesting for everyone to see is how familiar games might be to some degree changed through the workings of the PlayStation 5. Released in September 2018, PS4 exclusive Spider-Man was widely praised by critics and has now sold 13 million units worldwide, according to publisher Sony. The huge success of the title contributed to Sony Interactive Entertainment acquiring California-based Insomniac Games, the developer also known for Resistance and Ratchet and & Clank. Significantly, SIE has been using Spider-Man to demonstrate PlayStation 5's new SSD tech. During its corporate strategy meeting in May 2019, CEO Kenichiro Yoshida showed a video comparing load times in Marvel's Spider-Man running on both PS4 Pro and its next-generation PlayStation hardware. As described in the PlayStation 5 Details article, the next-gen PlayStation demonstrates dramatically reduced load times compared to PS4 Pro, with the camera able to fast travel near instantaneously and speed through the city without pausing for asset loading. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales will release for PS5 at the end of this year. Now, based off what was just said, I think anyone could probably gather the implication that this Spider-Man game is just a souped up version of the original where everything you know about the PS4 game has been taken and just dialed up to 11. And to some extent, some people may see it as the Miles Morales version of Spider-Man may be undermined. And no, that is not the case. This is a full-fledged Spider-Man game just not in the way you expect, which really clears up a lot of the questions people had about this game. Again, you could ask whether this game is a sequel or not, more on that will be clarified, but based on what was discussed in this very brief interview online, it's pretty much a continuation of Miles Morales' story, and in many ways a sequel to a certain degree because it's the next story in the franchise. It still leaves a few questions in the air like, what about Norman and Harry Osborn's story? Will we get to see Insomniac Games' version of the Green Goblin, Venom, and other new villains make an appearance? Is this Insomniac Games' version of the Uncharted Legacy? For those of you who don't know, something similar like this was done a couple years back with Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Uncharted The Lost Legacy is a standalone expansion to Uncharted 4 and the first Uncharted game to not feature protagonist Nathan Drake. So you can basically look at Spider-Man Miles Morales as the Uncharted The Lost Legacy of the Spider-Man series moving forward, where it is and isn't a direct sequel per se, but still is canon to the lore of the Spider-Man PlayStation video games moving forward. For clarity's sakes, it is an official standalone Spider-Man game. To further validate that, here's a retweet from Brian Intihar, who was the creative director for Marvel Spider-Man, further clarifying that Spider-Man Miles Morales is a standalone game. I know that in itself can sound rather disappointing and you may be thinking that the reason they may be doing this is because the character of Spider-Man is so synonymous with the Peter Parker character, no other version of Spider-Man really matters and you could look at it as Insomnia Games being lazy or whatever, but I assure you that is not the case. 
If that were the case, Insomnia Games wouldn't be making a video game solely based off of Miles Morales' Spider-Man alone. His story is just as important, and him getting his own standalone video game tie-in proves that. As to how involved Peter Parker's Spider-Man will be still remains unclear, but I can say with 100% certainty, he will be in the story because we all heard Yuri Lowenthal's voice right at the beginning of the trailer talking to Miles Morales. Yuri Lowenthal is the voice actor for Peter Parker Spider-Man and Spider-Man PS4. So we might see a continuation of that mentorship perhaps in a flashback sequence before Peter Parker sends Miles off to do his own thing. If you didn't know, there was a scene right at the end of the Silver Linings DLC where Peter is right at the top of a skyscraper with Miles teaching him the ropes and how to swing. Peter jumps off first and starts swinging followed by Miles Morales jumping all sporadically and flailing his limbs and then it just cuts to black. And there you have it, Spider-Man Miles Morales is an expansion of the first story, but it's a full-fledged standalone video game. I know that people are a bit disappointed with those set of news, but I think it's nothing to be upset about. Stay tuned for more Spider-Man Miles Morales videos. I will be uploading them in this style of editing, it's just that much more fun because these kinds of videos that require this much intention in-depth analysis and explanations need to be uploaded and discussed in this manner. Just making a video with me in full view would be too distracting and it just wouldn't do it justice if I made the video in any other way. So get hyped, there's still more to come. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything and I will see you all in the next comic panel.